the vibe, folks. Oh, 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 I'm getting fucking burned. There we go. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, K Predator. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys sort of a story, but then I want to explain why I haven't been uploading the last three, four, five days, I think. I don't know what the fuck's going around, but I think I got the flu, and it was really bad because I couldn't breathe. Well, I could breathe, but it was like very little and i was spitting up a bunch of phlegm like i actually have a brisk bottle that i was spitting to and like those things are like about this big and i filled half of it up with phlegm and i just couldn't breathe and it it was horrible like dead ass like i wanted to die but today's story is how i got kicked out of my local pool and this goes all the way back to i'd say at least seventh grade maybe uh, me and my friends like every day throughout the summer we would find I think it was a dollar or 50 cents to, uh, to go to the pool. We would normally have his mom take us and if she couldn't for some reason we would just find a way because that's how that's how much we love swimming. We normally had three people and Tommy brought a fourth person and he was like really close to all of us so it was me, my friend Mariano, my friend Tyrese and my friend Forrest. It was gonna be a good time at least I thought. Well, the pool would open at 5 20 and it would end at 9 and we would always just swim until the very end until they like forced us to get out of the pool and they had like a diving board they had like a really deep part they had like uh basketball hoops on the side and it was just a good time we're just doing it all right we're swimming we're playing basketball we're jumping off the diving board and i noticed that there was this little kid he was probably about six or seven years old and he was there with his older brother i don't know i was just kind of keeping an eye on him because he kept going by like the deep part right his brother gets out to go to the bathroom and i think that that was the cue for that little kid to jump in without his brother being there he didn't know how to swim and i noticed this right so i like keep an eye on him as he jumps in and then when he comes up he starts screaming like like calling for help and right and like he keeps going down and he's like trying to come back up and shit and that lady the fucking lifeguard tells him to swim Bitch, he can't. So I look at the lady and I'm like, he obviously can't swim, you dumb bitch. And at the time, I know I'm in seventh grade, but we had no parental supervision. My friend's mom would just drop us off there and she would come get us later on. And I seen that as an opportunity to be able to, to swear whenever I wanted. I go over there, I get the kid, I put him on my back and I start swimming back and she is just absolutely bitching me out for swearing at her. And she was telling me shit like, you're banned from the pool, you can't be on the property. And I'm like, I'm doing your job, hire me, what the fuck? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is how I got kicked out of my local pool. Fucking, it just doesn't make sense, it seriously doesn't. Get ass though, shout out to my uncle for buying me these. He bought me like five of these baked apple pie candles and holy shit does it make the room smell like diabetes of course i would know how that smells but anyway if you guys enjoyed today's video please like comment share subscribe you guys already know the whole ordeal uh if you guys want to follow my social medias they will be down in the description below you guys will see whenever i post anyway i will see you guys in the next video peace